minutes, and we're recording for another who knows how long. The pops. Yeah. So, okay, right. Going back to the tree structure. Um, okay, I think what you understood because okay, when if people other people listen to this, what they do is they listen to words, and they put too much emphasis on the words. And then they get confused because you're manipulating the use of the words. Because I do this. When I, when I talk to people, I manipulate the language so that they can't even stand on the language that I'm using. And the timing. Uh, and it's the timing. So the trick is, how do you... How do you... Um, okay, so I was saying, you know, you get different trees. And if you get a certain... Um, too much diversion... It's lost. And there's, a, there's like a sweet spot. If you go too much down the line, it's dull. If you go too, off, too many times off, you're senile uh, or mad. So the trick is to go off, but to return. At a certain rate or period, that is beautiful. But that requires another person to be able to follow accurately. From, from the side. Not directly face to face. What do you mean? The face-to-face, -to, -face, to me, that's the most complex thing. I am good in face-to-face. Uh, -face. I feel, because uh, this can, for so many different reasons, become, when you speak to more than one person, everyone has their own ideas or thoughts or even they don't even be there to think, not even <laughs> listen. But uh, when you are with one face to face, you are talking and you look at the other people's eyes first. Secondly, that's a mouth. I'm hiding my mouth here so you can't see my mouth. So there you go. Depriving you. What if I do it. this? <laughs> then what do you that's do? That's it. Then you can't. I agree this, with this. I agree with that's it. That's where the problem comes. I agree. Because the way you are saying it would be a, a nuisance and uh, you can tell that person in front of you has already recorded as a nuisance. I, if they're following you or they're not following you. Because they stop. They following. stop following you, that's right. Because they considered what I was speaking to before they said it was objective. You never deviate what you are doing. What you are saying, you just carry on or the, at the point you want to be. But uh, I find there are some deviations can improve that objective. But will take time to go back to the objective because That's right. that deviation took you away from it. That's right. Therefore, and that's a function, sorry, that's yeah. a function of time. Yes, that's what it's a function I'm of time. Saying time but if we th if we think about that in terms of the material, it's like it, it, we are covering thought, and so it's not just the time thing. It's not an objective, abstracted, thin thing of time. It's to do with the substance of thought. So if you go wandering off too much, the person's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. So you have to kind that's of say the enough cold eyes. that you bring it back. You can see the eyes getting cold. If you are showing or speaking about something interesting or not, but conversation, you look at the eyes and see if the eyes are listening. Not the ears, that's the eyes. The eyes are listening to what you are saying. The reason why, that's because my mouth is moving. <laughs> Therefore, I have myself, your eyes, to examine them. I'm not telling you I'm doing that. But the guy in front of me, what is he doing? When he looks at me, therefore, I can analyze that. Now, my question is, I am the guy was just moving my mouth back and forward. I'm sorry. And uh, his eyes are not following that. <laughs> the eyes are following 
My eyes in fact. Yeah. And as a result, normally the people get bored stiff because uh, doesn't appear to be anything interesting coming out of it. But you are absolutely explicitly satisfied because those deviations came, brought something new to you on that moment. Okay, you as a listener or you as a talker? If I'm a talker. Right. Because if I'm a listener, I have the care careful care to look at the eyes of the person talking. And to me, that's absolutely... Okay, wait a second, violent. no. This is, this is quite important because this is what... This is the problem that you had with, I think, the difference between... What are we on? Six minutes, okay. Between Ricardo and me is the fact that when I was growing up, I had more listening because you guys were talking way more than I was. Okay? So Ricardo being the firstborn, he was ending up talking to you. So it would be you talking and him talking and taking in turns. And you'd be fighting for that, for who was listening and who was talking. But I was sitting there listening most of the time and occasionally interjecting with some statement. <laughs> okay? you know, because I was eight years younger than Ricardo. You know, when I was starting this, I was like 10 or something. Mm -hmm. I mean, no, I was eight. Okay? Catching up in time, yeah. Exactly. And so I was watching this stuff, and I was going, what are they doing? <laughs> what are they doing? And I'd be following as much as I could, and then sort of like interjecting somewhere or other to try and explain. I thought, oh, I think I get this. I think I get this. And then I would actually say something to try and support what somebody's saying a little bit more. The other person may be here, because I could hear it. And then, no, okay, never mind. Yeah. And I would do that from one side or the other. Sometimes I'd understand you. Yeah, but sometimes I'd understand. you deviate yourself listening with something crop up Okay. Your brain. No, well, ish, ish. I can do that as well, the deviation. Okay. But when you're listening, there's deviation that occurs when you're listening. Or talking. That's yeah, yeah. But when you're talking, at least. Yeah, but when you're talking, at least you can take the deviation. But if you're listening, you can't. Because if I take the deviation, I, 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 I therefore stop following the person who's talking. That's when you get bored. Well, it's, it doesn't necessarily... Well, okay, and this is what I'm suggesting. Ricardo gets bored. Okay, and you also get bored. Okay, so you listen, and you're like, okay, I'm listening, and then a new thought occurs to you, and you think, oh, now that's good. And rather than listen to the other person, you go, ah, the thought in my head is that good, and that's why you want to interrupt. And that's what, the, that's what you want to contribute to the conversation. And there's an emphasis on what occurs to you in your mind as a listener... And I think that's where it's slightly off, okay? If you're talking and you go on a deviation, I think that's fair. I think that's fair, okay? And that's what I do with people. But if you're listening, to go on a deviation yourself is not really fair because you're listening to the other person. But it only works if the other person who's talking stops. They stop. They stop. And they give the other person the opportunity. This, that's a... You see? The target... Where do you stop? Exactly. Who is stop? exactly. stopping first? That, well, that's it. And I'm suggesting that that's something that you, and I don't know, Ricardo may have got better at this, I don't know. It's the ability to stop oneself in talking. That is the bit that's appropriate. So that you can honour the person who's listening. You can honour them for actually following you and not deviating. This has a new learning possibility. <laughs> well, it's for you, because you haven't practiced it, but a little bit easier for me. <laughs> yeah, that's a, something, that's like I said, that's why. Why are you talking about that? Many times people say, what the, <laughs> to you? What are you talking about? That's right. <laughs> oh, I do that a lot. Not <laughs> fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can we stop this? Here's. Oh.